Hey there friends, my name is Melanie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and Happy New Year. This is the first video of 2022 and we're starting off this year with an awesome thrift haul. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but I'm excited to share with you guys what I found. I spent two days out at some local antique malls and flea markets and found some great things that I'm going to try to resell online in my booth and maybe a few things that I might keep for myself. So if you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button and follow along with us. And I hope you have fun and enjoy the video. So this is called the Tawny Town Flea Market and Antique Mall. And it's right around the corner for me. It's one of my favorite places to go. This is the front display that they have and it is always gorgeous. I think the owner pulls items from vendors around the store, but take display notes, my friends, when you're looking at this. It is always such a beautiful display with all of those colors coordinated. And it's definitely one of those malls that you can kind of find anything and everything there. So just a reminder, today I was mostly shopping for items to resell. And so even though I saw a lot of things that I liked, like everything in this old dough trough, um, a lot of it was still a little bit too much for me to pay. So I passed on them. But if you're buying for yourself, then they are some great deals. Like these red tins, too much for me to pay to resell, but still a great price and would be adorable for a vintage Valentine's Day display or if you've got any sort of cottage kitchen theme going on. They were so cute. This is one of my favorite vendors in the back right corner. She always has amazing items and you can find some things that are marked down in there, some good steals every once in a while. She also does a really good job coordinating her displays. So this is obviously the red and white area so again take display notes when you're looking at this how she pulled all of the things that were the same color together in one spot this booth had all of their prints for five dollars and so i definitely grabbed one of them i'll show you later in the video and they had a lot of other stuff marked down too i'm a sucker for anything miniature so that little stove was super super cute and a great price for just twenty dollars So anytime there's a book vendor, I always stop and dig through what they have. This vendor had these amazing hardcover books. If you bought 10, then they would be $2.50 a piece. And these were just really cool. They were all kind of an Old West theme. Be just great books for display, coffee table books. Um, they had some neat, you know, full color pictures in them. And then there were some that uh, were some gardening books that would be great for upcoming spring display. Okay, so I love all of these books over here, but I don't think I can buy any of them because they're all stamped. See, <laughs> all of them are stamped with the price. And so that makes it really hard for me to resell them because I don't think that I can just cut that part out or mark over it. So that's a bummer. But if I needed some books for myself, then this would be a great spot. These gardening books and all of these old West books Here's another one of my favorite booths. I always go to this booth. They just have a wonderful collection of items. I'm not who, sure who the mother and son are, but I really like their stuff. And then they almost always have this $5 and under shelf, which I for sure dig through every single time I'm here.
Okay, so it's a new day and I am at another flea market today. Um, this one's called Me and the Flea and it's a place that I like to come um, every couple weeks. Definitely just walk through and see what's there. So we're gonna see if we can go in and find a few more treasures to round out our haul. This is definitely one of those places that you have to be prepared to dig a little bit more. Um, there's a lot to look through and you definitely, when you're in a place like this, you want to peek into every booth, even if you're not at first interested in what you're seeing, because you will find some real treasures kind of tucked away where you don't expect it. I have great luck consistently finding just some real little treasures here at this mall. So let's see what we can find today. Okay, bonus points if you can see what I spotted up here in this booth tucked away among all this other random kind of garage sale stuff is this guy. All right, I love half off booths. I was so excited to find this one and I definitely scored what I'm pretty sure is a good little treasure from this booth and I'll tell you about it more here in just a few minutes. Hey guys, we are here and it's time for me to walk you through all the awesome stuff from my two trips that I did over the last couple days. I went to an antique store and then I went to a flea market. These are both right here where I live in Northwest Arkansas and I'm really happy with what I got. So um, I'm set up in kind of a weird spot in my house because I had to find some good lighting today. You'll probably see some Animals walking around behind me, ignore that, and I hope you don't mind if I enjoy my afternoon cup of coffee here while we do that. Um, but I'm excited to show you guys what we found, so let's get started. All right, so I wanna start first with the glassware. And yes, I still am buying glassware because I've been able to sell glassware. Not all glassware, but specifically um, kind of vintage barware. I don't know, there's just certain things that my customers seem to like. And again, the majority of this I am reselling. And so I resell at an antique booth on my own personal website. Um, I sell on a Facebook Live sale. I have an Instagram account that I sell items on. And I do have an Etsy store that I've sold on a little bit. It's mostly paint right now, but I plan in this new year to add some more things back to my Etsy account. So anyway, I'm, I buy what I'm pretty confident I can sell. And then a few of these things are for me to keep, but let's get going. All right, so you saw this in the video. This is a vintage green glass pitcher. I love it. It is so fun and kitschy. I love kind of the wavy pattern on it. It's even got a little bit of pattern on the handle. It was $8 at the antique mall, the first stop. So this was a great score. All right, another score at that antique mall is this vintage Mr. Peanut peanut container. So you can see him on the bottom. You see Mr. Peanut? Um, it says 1984. So it's not crazy old. I mean, gosh, that's getting older <laughs> than we want to think it is. But still, um, anybody who's a collector is going to think this is a really cool piece. He's on the top too. This was $2. Um, even if it wasn't Mr. Peanut, it's really got a pretty pattern to it. And so I think it was a great piece. Okay, also from that same booth um, that had the marked down Mr. Peanut and the green jar, I found this canister set. And this canister set was only $3 for these two. They both have the lids. Um, they're in good shape. I don't see any chipping on them. And, you know, I mean, they're not the best thing that I found, but they do kind of have 
that cottage core style to them. The paint is really in pretty good shape. They're just, they're cute. In the right context, they would be really cute in somebody's kitchen that has um, a lot of fun, bright colors in them. So for three bucks, I thought they were a great find. Okay, another piece of glassware that I got is this vintage Anchor Hawking little milk pitcher. You guys, I buy these whenever I can find them because I just keep being able to sell them. I have certain customers that every time I list one of these, they just grab them right up. And so this one was $5, I grabbed it. And then what's super fun is that at the flea market I went to, I found the matching sugar for it. And the sugar was a dollar. I paid a dollar. It was four, they had marked it down to two, and the whole booth was on sale 50% off. So I paid six bucks for the pair of them, which I think is an awesome price. All right, another piece of glassware that I got, and this came from the flea market, is this vintage decanter. And it does have the cork stopper. Um, pretty bottom here. I think it's completely usable if somebody wanted to actually wash it out and use it in their barware. And this was also half off. I paid $6 for it. All right, a few more pieces that I found. You guys, I'm still buying milk glass and these were just unique. I've never seen these exact patterns before. And so this one um, has got this square bottom and several different patterns on it. Um, it was three bucks. Sometimes I can find them for less than that. I can usually sell them for nine or 10. But like I said, this one was just unique. I haven't seen one with this pattern and shape before. And then I haven't ever seen these, this piece before either, but this would be really great. Um, I mean, honestly, like I might even keep it for my new desk space. I mean, gosh, it could hold pencils on somebody's desk. It would be cute. It has a lot, has a lot of different different purposes. Let me bring it up so that the light isn't catching it. But it was also $3, um, just two kind of unique pieces. And like I said, milk glass is still selling really well for me. We'll see how it does in 2022. Um, so when I find pieces that are pretty and unique and have a good price, I grab them. All right, switching gears just a little bit. I found this sign at the antique mall. I paid $2 for it. And so it says fried green tomatoes. Now, what I really like about it is that this is not some mass produced wholesale sign. It is actually marked on the back. First off, it's like this really heavy wood. And on the back, it says trails end art hand painted by Pat Little, 1997. And so this is actually someone's actual hand painting. It's super cute. It would look really adorable in somebody's kitchen. And for $2, I thought it was an awesome find. All right, sticking with that kind of kitchen food theme, this great vintage picnic basket. It's got the wood lid that hinges open. The handles are metal. And it's got, you know, kind of that pressed wood bottom. The inside is still um, sturdy. You can definitely hold some food if you want to put some food in it, but it was $20 at the flea market and the whole booth was 75% off. So I wound up paying $5 for it. Amazing price. Great price would be a fun decor piece. Great for staging in my booth because you can use it to add height to your display. Um, you know, you can at, use this kind of as a second shelf and display things on top of it. You could open it up and have stuff sticking out of it. So it is marked here on the inside of it. I can't tell 100% what it says, Redmond. And then I think it, it maybe says Peru or it's P-E-R something. And then I-N-D, which is maybe Indiana. I don't know, not 100% sure, but, um, great piece could be an actual functional piece or a great decor piece but for sure great for staging in my booth okay this scale was another awesome find from the flea market today this scale was 15 dollars um which is is about the the least i can pay for a scale when i'm trying to find one so um it's in good shape there's not a ton of rust on it i have one that is a whole lot rustier than this what i really like about it is the face is still in great shape and it's got this little bit of blue that goes around it so i think this is easily a 40 45 50 dollar scale possibly to the right person um, because it just has that little bit of pretty extra color 
The white is still kind of nice and clean. So I thought it was a great find. I was really happy with the price. All right, another amazing decor find at the antique mall. It was this vintage print. Sorry, I know there's kind of a, um, a glare on that, but this was $5 and there was a someone's booth there they had all of their prints five dollars and so you know yeah it's a little shaky in the back the frame's a little bit shaky has a little bit of damage on it but i love prints like this i think they make gorgeous decor in fact i'm pretty positive that i have this same print exact same print in a teal frame that i put up on my mantle um, I can't show you guys right now because it's packed in a box <laughs> because my Christmas decor is out instead. But I love layering these old prints on top of each other for a really compelling display. Let's take a turn here and I want to show you some quirky stuff that I found. I love finding quirky stuff because I think that helps my business stay unique. Um, I don't know. I just think when you, when you find something and you've literally never seen it before or it's something completely out of the ordinary, those make some of the best things to decorate with, to stage with, and I just, I, I love pieces like that. So this is the first, this is the first one. It is a wooden um, swan, which is so totally 80s, right? Like a wooden swan basket, but it collapses. The whole thing flips like this, actually, flips like this and goes flat just like that. Isn't that crazy? And then this kind of expands. So um, I have seen kind of one other thing kind of like this before. It was like a candelabra that I had. I did look up and I saw a couple of these on Etsy. Um, they were asking, you know, $30 plus for them. Hey, there's a kid. <laughs> this one I paid $3 for and I thought it was really fun. Hey, you wanna say hi? Hi. Real life here, people. Real life. All right, two other quirky finds. Um, grab this at the flea market. It is just a little folk art duck. It's made of sticks. Somebody whittled his head. It was $6, it's half off, so I paid $3. Super fun piece. Got some animals over here too. This came from the antique mall, and I love it. It is like a rattan Jeep, okay? So it actually rolls. Like the hood opens up, it's got a little engine on the inside on it. This also was $3. And you know, it kind of reminds me of like something that you would get at um, like a gift shop if you go on a cruise or you're at some sort of beach resort or something. And in the resort gift shop, they have all these quirky things. I bet that's where kind of this came from. But I mean, I just, again, I've never seen one like it before. It was $3. It would look adorable on, you know, a stack of books, on a little side table, coffee table. Anybody that's a Jeep person, I mean, it was a no-brainer for me for three bucks. Okay, this also I found at the antique mall. I was super, super excited about it. It is an old ink stamp, okay, and it has the little jar of ink in it. Um, gosh, it's really heavy. And so I was showing it to my husband and we were trying to figure out exactly, um, you know, I was stamping it on some things, exactly what it does. And so it's, it actually numbers. So I think the current number is that it's set to is, let's see, 717. It's got some information on it. I, I, this is, I've never bought anything like this before. It could have, um, some, nice value to it. I don't know. I'm probably going to have to do a, uh, do a little research, look it up, but I just thought it was really cool. Something different. Um, I had fun <laughs> stamping with it. And again, great shelf piece. Um, anybody that's, you know, decorating an office, um, you know, if you've got a family member and they're into accounting, this could be a cool gift, like for your accounting husband's office, maybe. Um, just, I, I loved it. For five bucks, it was a great find. Okay, we've got just a few more things. This um, I grabbed from the flea market. It is an old shoe last $5 on it. The reason I grabbed this one is because it does have um, the date 1947 and it's the wood is just really worn and I don't know if it's a child size or if it's just 
Um, well, it says 13 and a half. So I'm gonna assume that it's child size or if it's just maybe um, really small feet. I, my feet are huge, so this would not work for me. But these um, have always been popular with decorating. Um, I know there are some people that collect them, but for me, I just think they're cool decor pieces. And I like this one was small and it had several stamps on it. All right, we're gonna wrap up with the things that I spent probably the most money on. Um, grabbed this great brass horse. So he actually stands, I don't know if you can even see that with the camera, but um, brass is still selling really well. And you know, I try to not buy a bunch at one time or display a lot at one time in my booth. I try to only have a couple pieces here or there. I think if you have a booth full of it, then it actually kind of makes it look like it's not as unique as it is, if that makes any sense. And so um, instead of just buying a ton of brass, I'm kind of hunting for unique things that I'm not seeing elsewhere. And I've never seen this piece before. So he was $12 which is a great price price right now for brass. Everything that I'm seeing on brass, the price has just gotten super, super high. And then speaking of brass, this is something that I'm kind of taking a little bit of a risk on. Um, these are two vintage brass fire hose nozzles is what they are, okay? They were um, $19 each, which for me is a lot of money to spend on something. I usually spend three to five bucks on stuff when I'm out looking for things to resale. So $19 was a lot for me. Um, they were 38, the booth had everything half off. Now, I will readily admit that I don't know a lot about these, except that they are collectible and they do have some value to them. So um, they do have a stamp on them. Um, with a name, let's see, it says Allen, Allen Company, Allen Co. Um, I haven't had the chance to kind of do any research on that. I'm sure that like anything else, there's a real variable in value to them. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of research to find a good price point for them. They'll probably go into my booth first, just because there is a pretty large collector community that shops at the mall. Um, where my booth space is. If I can't sell them there, then I'll try them on Etsy or maybe even in a live sale because they are collectible, but they're also just really cool. Like they're great, especially the two of them together um, look great displayed together. So, but from the little bit of quick online research that I did at the flea market, <laughs> um, they were definitely underpriced. And so 19 bucks each, I think there's some money there that I can still make on both of them. All right, something that I was excited to find that I'm gonna keep for myself was this um, milk pitcher. Now, it is not marked ironstone, but it feels like ironstone, it looks like ironstone. I'm gonna bet that it probably is. Um, the price on it was originally 36, and it was marked down to $12. So here is an actual um, ironstone milk jug that I currently own. Um, you can see they're very similar in size and weight. And so that's why I think this one probably is too, but I do collect white ironstone, um, pieces. I only have this one milk jug, so I was excited to get another one in for $12. Like that's just a really good price. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for joining me today for this haul. We were keeping it real today. We had some animals wander through. I had a kid crawl through, come home from school. That's how we do things here at Lost and Found. I'm just a real person um, hunting down some real junk and um, selling what I can and enjoying things in my house that I find. So I hope you enjoyed coming along and maybe it gave you some ideas for some things that you can try to resell or some things that you can use in your own home to decorate. I really do believe in losing the ordinary and finding the unique when it comes to decorating your home. If you're not a Lost and Found subscriber, then please join us. We have a great community that's growing here. We've got plans for so much more in the new year. One of my goals is to be doing a lot more picking and thrifting. I really, really enjoy that as part of my business. Um, haven't been doing much of it lately because it's been the holidays, so I'm ready to just jump back in. If you're ever interested in attending one of our live sales, we have those on my Facebook page, which is Melanie Alexander Lost and Found. You can find that info down in the description of the video. Um, we do them every other Wednesdays at 6.30, which I know depending upon 
whenever you're watching this video, it could be, you know, you never know if you're the Wednesday that's on or not, but just hop on over to my Facebook page, follow us if you don't already. Um, and like I said, we put notifications up when we're going to have one. And so that's where you can join in on those. All right. Y'all are awesome. I'm going to go get to cleaning, pricing my stuff that I'm not keeping for myself. And uh, so I can get it sold, get it up into my booth. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you again soon.